Fish on. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think it came off. Oh, dang it. Try to land this fish. What is this? Oh, wow. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. I'm trolling the Paulas again, as you can see. And today we are once again on the lake, unfortunately. We're not unfortunately. I'm fortunate to get out here, but I really wanted to get out on the salt water today, but it's just a little bit too rough still, but that's still coming. I think I'm going to be able to get out tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow's video or maybe the next day will be an ocean one. But anyways, today we're out on the lake targeting some ocean fish. So um, there is king salmon that live in this lake. They're landlocked king salmon. And I came out here once. I didn't get any kings, but I got some really nice trout. So um, to be honest, I'm happy to catch either one of those. And I think there's actually kokanee in here as well. So any three of those I'd be happy with. Um, I got a shallow diving rapala on this side, a little bit deeper one on this side. And um, yeah, I learned a little bit. I learned a few things after my last trip. So I'm hoping that I can uh, make those adjustments and it'll pay off today. Lines are in, we're trolling. Actually, I have some mud on the rod here. That's not a good look. I'm gonna move around, try and find some birds or some bait or something. Um, I'm fishing a little bit of a different area this time, so it's kind of a another exploratory mission. So we'll see. See if I can find some fish. Oh, 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 fish on, fish on. Oh, what is this? Fish on. I don't know what this is. It didn't really hit like the trout that I caught before, but I don't know, I'm using a slightly different lure as well, so it could be part of the problem or part of the difference. Could it be a salmon? I don't know, I think it's possible. What is this? Feels good, whatever it is. It's definitely got some weight to it. It hasn't really gone on a big run. What is this? Ah. This is exciting. I, I don't know. For me, I'm always excited when I fish like a new area. If I can like figure it out, it's like so much, so satisfying. I don't know why. I think it's just because, uh, like I've said, I said this. I think this is like the theme of my 12 video series or whatever. Is like figuring out the pieces to the puzzle. Oh, you can do it on a new lake. I don't know. It just feels good. It's like you figured something out. Also, you're just like expanding your fishing knowledge. I think in general, it's just always good to challenge yourself like that. So I will explain in a little bit, but just really quick, this rod, which is one of the things I learned from the last time I was here, this one I had a deeper diving uh, Rapala on. I'll show you exactly which one I'm using. It's no secret, but um, yeah, that's... Oh, did it come off? Oh, I think it came off. Oh, dang it. It literally surfaced right there. Oh, man. All right, well, uh, what was that? Nothing you could do there, I guess. I don't know. Shoot. I think that had potential to be a king. I don't know for sure. I'll never know for sure. But I think it might have been. Oh, dang. It literally, I got it all the way to like maybe 10 feet behind my kayak. It did a little roll on the surface. And then that was it, gone. So, all right, well, that gives me a little bit of confidence. At least I know there's some fish in here and I, I'm doing something right. So, put it back and try again. Oh, oh. 
that's a fish. Yeah, definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. He just popped off the downrigger. All right. So, another thing I learned, well, I kind of mentioned this before, is I just needed to get my baits down a little bit deeper than I was doing last time. So, this time, I brought the downrigger. I still, I brought it last time, but I don't know. I just didn't stick with it enough, I don't think. So this time, busted it out after getting one on this rod. I switched positions, in case you're confused. But anyways, this rod was had a bigger diver on it. Um, so it was getting down a little bit deeper. Um, oh, what is this? Come in, or hold up, I'll explain in a second. Try to land this fish. What is this? Oh, wow, okay. I think this might be what I hooked last time as well. <laughs> okay. Well, interesting. It's not what I, uh, what I was fishing for, but honestly, I'd be, I'm happy to catch this as well. I've never caught one of these before. All right, there it is right there. That is a, I'm pretty sure it's a white crappie. I know it's a crappie for sure. I pretty, and I think it's a white crappie. I thought I knew what I was talking about there, but literally had no idea. It's actually a black crappie. I just looked it up. Black crappie have more like scattered spots as you see on this one, whereas the white crappie are more kind of like bars, more similar to a surf birch. But anyways, I was wrong. Now I know it's a black crappie. I've heard that they are very good eating. So I am going to keep this one and try it out. I've heard that they're very similar to surf perch. I mean, they look they look kind of like the freshwater version of a surf perch, the same body shape, you know, similar uh, flat but wide version. Uh, and I'm surprised they caught one out here. I'm kind of, you know, in the middle leg. Usually these are like hugged up close to like brush piles and stuff up is shallow. And right now I'm in a hundred feet of water. So I'm surprised it was out here, but um, Nevertheless, it was, and it bit my lure. I think this might be the same thing that I got, or that I hooked on my last last little pass here. So uh, I'm glad I got to catch this one, see what it was. But there's the Rapala that I caught it on. So I think this might be the first non-trout that I've caught in this whole series. I didn't intend for it to be all trout fishing videos, but kind of just how it happened. And anyway, that's a nice crappie, I think. I mean, they're they're pretty similar to surf perch in that they get maybe two to three pounds at the most. Maybe you can occasionally get one a little bit bigger than that, but I think that's pretty respectable. It's probably like a almost two pounder, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. Feels pretty heavy. I'm sure I'll get some nice fillets off of it. Um, and I'm interested to see how it tastes. Like I said, I've never caught one before, so I've never even eaten one from anyone else, and I'm interested to see. I'm glad I caught a nice one. I mean, just gonna get some good fillets off of this. So I'll definitely I'll put it to the test. Um, maybe I'll put it in a video or something. I don't know yet. But anyways, there you go. There's a nice, I'm pretty sure white crappie, but correct me if I'm wrong. So, hey, no skunk. Well, that wasn't really what I was intending to catch, but um, happy to catch it. And I thought I had figured out something about the kings, but maybe I haven't. So anyways, we'll keep trying. I'm still trying to get that salmon. Uh, that's what I really came here for. But I'm happy to catch anything. That was pretty cool, actually. That was my first, I think it's pretty sure that's my first crappie I've ever caught. Look at that. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, okay. We can work with this. All right, guys, well, I don't know what it is. I seem to always catch them right at the last minute. I literally already did my closing outro and everything. I guess I'm gonna have to redo it now. 
What is this? I don't know what this is. Could it be my king salmon? I don't know what it is. Could it be another crappie? And, oh yeah, it's another crappie. Oh, good one. Okay, where's my net? Let him in. Okay. All right. Well, I guess this is a crappie day. There we go. Crappie number two. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, I didn't intend for this to be a crappie video, but sometimes you just never know, especially when you're exploring a new body of water. It's kind of one of the reasons why I like doing that, because you never know what you're going to catch. But that's a really nice one right there. Like probably 13, 14 inch or something like that. I don't have a measuring tape on me, but um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Nice little like, ah, uh, probably like one and a half pounds maybe. Not quite two, maybe a little under two. Not too bad. I mean, like I said, I I came out here to try and catch some, some king salmon um, or some kokanee or even some trout and I didn't get any three of those, but um, I did catch two crappie which I totally wasn't expecting to do, but I'm happy that it happened because now I get to try them. Like I was saying before, oh, it just popped out. That's by the way, is the lure that I was using. Um, this is the one I caught, well, I lost one. I think it was a crappie and I caught one on this one. It's a little shad wrap. That's a little bit bigger size. And then I caught one also on a, a smaller size of this, same thing on the downrigger. So that's what worked. Wow. Totally unexpected. You hit that lure. Totally surprised. I was still, I was just basically packing everything up, getting ready to go in. And what do you know, right at the last minute, I, I had a feeling that was gonna happen too. I just had that weird feeling that something good was gonna happen right at the end. So happy that it came true. We'll take care of this one. I'm gonna bleed him and uh, put him in the cooler bag here. Keep him on ice. So he's good to go for the, for the frying pan. That's gonna do it for today. Super happy with today's result. Actually, I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I wasn't planning for it to be like this, but it was a fun day. I, I tried to come out here and catch some salmon, kokanee, or uh, a king, or even a trout. And I was hoping for any three of those, like I said at the beginning of the video. I didn't figure that out. I thought maybe I could, I could get some out here, but I haven't quite figured those, that little fishery out. But what I did do is I figured out something a little bit about crappie. I never caught a crappie before today. And I got a couple of them on the on the troll here. So fun little day out here. I'm excited to cook those up and eat them. I think I've said that a couple times already, but yeah, I'm just really excited to, to try those out, see how they compare to surf perch. But I um, appreciate you guys' view. If you want to get any of the gear from this video, leave it linked in the description. Seems like these Rapala shad wraps uh, work for for crappie. I thought actually I'm pretty sure they would work for king salmon as well. So people that I talked to last time I was here um, caught some on a similar style lure, not exactly the same. So we'll see. TBD, maybe in another video. But they definitely work for crappie. I hooked up three, caught two, and uh, yeah, I don't even really know what I was doing. So if it works for me. I'm sure it'll work for you. This is uh, video nine, I believe, of my. 12 videos in 12 days, little series challenge type deal. Um, I'm hoping to get out to the surf for, or to the ocean for at least one of the last three. I didn't intend for them to all be freshwater, but that's kind of what hap what's happened so far just because of, of the weather. So anyways, look forward to that coming. Uh, the final, I guess the fourth quarter worth of videos coming very, very soon in the next three days. So anyways, I appreciate you guys' view. Oh, and I did want to do one more thing. I wanted to extend a thank you to everyone who's helped me. You know, I told people in my one of my last videos that I was trying to catch a, a freshwater king, and so many people have reached out to me to help me. Um, so thank you to all of you guys. You know who you are. And uh, I didn't get it yet, but I'm coming back. So anyways, appreciate you guys' view. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.